All right, so now your circle series or your, your tractioning series, however you want to refer to it, we just call it circle series. You can take this band, the same setup, you can transition from one right to the other. The great thing is it has a good flow to it. Okay, we are going to put it right in a pec delt tie-in that everybody's been talking about for years, but right around that area, you're going to step forward and get some pressure. I would put one foot in front just to kind of stabilize you. And then what you're going to do again is let that band kind of pull your shoulder back. A little compression effect you get on the front here. First thing you're going to do is kind of circle. Okay, no shoulder movement. Probably wise to brace here as well. And you can go about 10 circles. Then face you so you guys can see it. You're going to reach across. So only different circles kind of more forward, backward, or reach across, you're getting a little bit of, of abduction out of it. Almost like a peck fly effect. The last one is the press. Now very, very wise to kind of let your breath, let it come out on the way back. And really let that band kind of pull that sucker back because we're looking to get those shoulder blades working backwards. Like Donnie says, dead center socket. We want to almost cue them to do it. About 10, 12 reps, you can go about 30 seconds, 40 seconds on each, and you're good to go. Uh, chicken wing.